I want to make sure. It's uh, 1647 on May 6th of 2015. No, no, go ahead. Uh, this is the uh, open carry walk that is at uh, the Austin Police Headquarters that's uh, protesting the uh, Austin Police Chief. Hey, what's up, man? What up, dude? How you doing? Colt. Colt, hey, what's up? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. How are you, man? I'm Dave from West Virginia. Colt, yeah, good. Thanks for coming out to support us, man. Happy to be here. I'm excited about it. I've been okay. worked out perfect. I had to come down for work, told CJ, and he said, we'll do a rally. So yeah, we'll I've been through West Virginia a few times. I love it up there. It's nice because I, I actually moved here a year and a half ago from Connecticut. Oh, really? I had to escape all the craziness that was going on out there. Last, last. How you doing? What is thought about it? What's that? What is thought of this? Uh, have you ever heard of Open Carry Texas before? No. Well, I'm from out of town. That's oh, okay. You're from out of town. Well, Open Carry Texas, it's a, it's a group. We're here. Our first goal was to fight for open carry of handguns here in Texas because it's actually illegal to openly carry a modern pistol. As, as strange as that sounds when it's legal to carry this. But part of the reason why we're doing it here right at the police headquarters is uh, when they were having the debates at the Capitol over here, uh, the chief here in San Antonio came out and he spoke real against us and he actually said a couple bad things saying that, you know, people with guns need to be reported to their neighbors and called into the police so department. So you can have the weapon over here? Yes. No. Well, no. If, if, if in Texas, if you have a license, you can carry a pistol on you, but it needs to stay hidden. What we're, we're fighting for is to be able to, yeah, exactly. Like if you were to carry it underneath your shirt, but if you do this, then you're a felon here in Texas, which is silly because, uh, I don't want to say the number wrong, but it's 44, correct? 44 other states in the United States, you can open carry a pistol. Yeah, because I, I, I wasn't feeling about yeah, Phoenix. I went to McDonald's to get a coffee. The guy was sitting. With the yeah, over there. yeah. Phoenix actually has similar laws to what we want because we all they have what's uh, called constitutional carry, where if you can legally own a gun, you can legally carry it, whether it's open or concealed on your person. Whereas here in Texas, you actually need to get a license most of the time in order to be able to carry on your person if you go out, you know, to get a coffee shop or something. So or you can have this. Yes, you can it's have a this. Little bit more, well, a lot more dangerous. Well, it's it's only dangerous if the person's dangerous. Well, but you know. the thing is that, I, I, to me, if you have it hiding over here, at least in LA, yeah, and you have it hiding over here, they're gonna shoot you. I mean, good. because the police they don't know what you have over here. He said you have a weapon. What? Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, well, they're not supposed to do that. And, yeah, and, and not, for the most part it's here... It's better to see it and say, do you have a license, sir? Yes. Well, a actually, they're not allowed to ask that. Oh, yeah, no? yeah, they're actually, in, unless you're doing like, say, I I'm just going to make an example up here. Say they saw you shoplifting and you had your gun openly with you. Then they can ask you about it. But if they, say, say if I chose on my own, even just with this rifle, I decided to go walk up the street and go to Starbucks and get a coffee, a police officer wouldn't be able to just come up to me and say, hey, I want to see your license or your ID. Because in Texas, it's not a crime to walk around with a long gun. So. I tell you, you do that in LA? Did we see someone in Utah doing that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you probably have. Hey, actually, if you guys want, I forgot. We went to Utah. This is actually our group. We have, there's a there's a Facebook page and there's also a website that tells you what our. We were sitting at Stackley in front of the police. So and we saw someone with the rifle walking like, say, wait. So, so then uh, you're protesting here today. Uh, what are you, I mean, because we just landed here just yesterday. So, uh, okay. We want to repeat the thing. I, I don't, I mean, I just, just a, a No, no, it's yeah, fine. Uh, well, summary, so our, our bigger group, Open Carry Texas, mm -hmm. we've just been fighting for uh, 
at first it was to be able to openly carry a handgun because here in Texas you can't openly carry a modern handgun but you can open carry a rifle that's why when we do the events we're carrying the rifle because it draws attention to our cause because this this right now would be illegal to do in Texas right now no if it was at like say like a Glock pistol but this is perfectly legal yeah yeah we wouldn't be doing anything illegal because that's the police headquarters so but uh Right, but right. that's what we're fighting for. And the reason why mm -hmm. we're having this event here today mm -hmm. in front of the police headquarters is when they were having debates on some of the bills that we favor as far as open carry Texas at mm -hmm. the Capitol, the mm -hmm. police chief came out and he spoke real against us. Okay. And he actually said some things that we thought were- Chief Acevedo? Yeah, Acevedo, uh, Ace Acevedo. I think is how you say it. Okay. But uh, he, okay. he said some things that weren't really, this thing is you know. Uh, hmm? Well, we don't want to be a good story for us. Yeah, that's what I'm too. thinking about. You know, well, we, oh, well, what, what do you guys do? do? We, we do. We, we're, we had we're, a news we're, media. We're news media. We're media. Oh, okay. But we're national. Well, we're doing national coverage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I tell uh, you, so if the, the, the actually the head, the person who founded the group is here. Oh, he is. If yeah. you'd like me to go up and introduce uh, yeah. you well, to him. Uh, well, exactly. currently we're actually working on a different story. Oh, yeah. Gonna, and we're actually going to be we're interviewed. We're going to be interviewed. But uh, I'm going to propose to my to that, our producers in Miami to ask him. Absolutely, because this group is active in the whole state here. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to do something in Austin, there's always a group of people. And, and, and do you guys have uh, members that are Spanish speakers, perhaps? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. Well, my my coworker, he's... Uh, a recent well, you know, the thing the is that like, he say he got his weapon yeah. over here. Okay. The police cannot so ask him, let me see your license. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, no, that's a... Because you need to be committing a crime and he can't assume that... You. Yeah, yeah. And I lay uh, my friend, they yeah, see something uh, over there and say, what do you have? What, uh, what do you have? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you want, and I'm sure CJ, I mean, because we have an extremely diverse group, you know, there's a lot of people who support yeah. gun rights here in yeah, Texas, exactly, so, uh, so I, I'm sure that he would have some, yeah, yeah, it's been big news here in Texas for the last year. I take you a picture of you guys standing over there, Yeah, you. <laughs> and, I oh, you're, and I send it to my wife, we have a backup. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you know what? I like to. You know, in fact, I should get your number, and then perhaps you can direct me to. All right. We're gonna be um, here like uh, for this. Yeah. The, we're gonna be here for the next uh, week and a half or so. <laughs> okay. What's your name? Uh, my name is Colt. C O L T. Which? Your number? Uh, two zero four. And that's a cell phone, so even if you want to text or whatever, too, you could. this would be for the... Uh, Open Carry Texas. Open Carry Texas. Yeah. Yep. And I gave you that trifold, so you can yeah. go on there. And uh, even even if, for whatever reason, you can't get a hold of me, and it's something you want to do quick, uh, like I said, his name is C.J. Grisham. Okay. He's that, That's him right there. He's actually... Usually usually he coordinates doing stuff with the media, but if, if you want somebody... Yeah, I'll, I'll check with my producer first. Okay. Because, um, you know, she's the one that approves what we, what we do. But, you know, we tell, we, if we tell her, you know, the visuals, like, you know, you're able to walk around like this. Oh, yeah. And then uh, you can't have, like, a, you're just talking about having, like, a concealed weapon. Well, well, what it is is you can have a concealed handgun if here in Texas hiding, if you have a license. If you have a hiding mm -hmm. on the, you, you can you can have it on you. Yes, but you can't have it openly. You cannot have it openly. Like, like, yeah, like people cannot see. It. Like for an example, like a police officer. Police officer okay. open carries because their yeah, exactly. their handgun exactly. is exposed. Exactly. But us as citizens here in Texas, we can't do it. Which we find kind of silly because, like I was telling you, there's 44 other states in the country where you can, and there are even some states that aren't even gun friendly. Well, you know, like in Utah, in Utah, you know, when I went to Utah, uh, the first time that I left California to cover something in the, you know, in, in a different state, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, I was shocked because I saw the congressmen with their weapons. Yeah, walking especially around. if you were coming yeah. from California too, because yeah. California is in a very gun-friendly yeah. state. Yeah, so it, it's not, and so <laughs> we were looking, you know, and I was like, you know, because I was doing an interview with one of the senators out there, and he had a gun like right there, and I was like, you know, that's. Yeah, it's, it's some some people aren't used to it, but you know, I, I want to say a lot of people well, I mean, here in I, Texas I'm have used to it. I, just, I was just shocked to see it in America because in California you don't really. Yeah, see of it. course. Yeah, th this is actually CJ right here. CJ, Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you, nice CJ Grisham. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Oh, th there's all the information. Grisham, my favorite actor. Uh, one of my favorites. Well, he used to be. He writes weird stuff. Now. The last, like, the last couple of books have been. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're just talking to uh, Colt. Colt, and um, uh, you know, we're here to cover a different, a completely different story. And but we saw your cause here, and it just seems to be something that I could definitely propose to our producers. Sure. In, you know, we work for Spanish language television. You know, you hablo español, soy lingüista. Hablo español. Pero no, no hablo muy bien. Entiendo más que hablo. I didn't even know. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I was telling you. 
I'm going to propose our producer for this story. So I will give you a call. Okay. Because, yeah, that's be, my cell phone. Yeah, we're going to be here until the end of next week. And so, um, that's the that we can sure. watch right Yeah, we've got a lot of Hispanic members, uh, especially down along the Rio Grande Valley, El Paso, San Antonio area. So, uh, yeah, we're taking our show on the road uh, throughout Texas last week. Okay. And on Tuesday, we're going to be broadcasting our news show from Austin. Okay. And so, you know, that's uh, definitely something that we could try to do. Yeah, that would be something that's cool. And if you guys are going to be traveling around, I mean, there's we have separate groups. Like we have the Austin group, San Antonio group, El Paso, Rio Grande Valley. So We have members in all 254 counties. So if you guys, you know, if you're going to be in a city and we've got a rally going on and you want to come film it, by all means. Yeah, no, absolutely. That would be a good show. So, so then, uh, so then, just to recap, you're able to do this legally, but you cannot have a I have gun. No, you can't. It's covered. Yes, right. exactly. Covered. Yeah. So, and I, like, I'm carrying a very small pistol on my ankle mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. That's totally that's legal. Legal. But if I hike up my pant legs or I'm wearing shorts, uh, I suddenly broke a law. But I can carry this or any of these other rifles that, that you see. Sense? It, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> that's what, that's well, why we're. What's the logic behind that? Well, the, the law goes back to uh, the Reconstruction period. So after the Civil War, of course, um, you know, the, the slavery was abolished in Texas. Well, what the legislature did was they wanted to prevent the newly freed slaves from being able to carry firearms. So they stopped them. Mo most people, uh, most of the slaves couldn't afford rifles back then, but handguns were easy to kind of get. And so they outlawed the carry of pistols to keep the black man, the, the freed slaves and the Mexicans from being able to carry. Over time, what happened was initially there was a gentleman's agreement that, you know, it, that, that law didn't apply to the white man. And so white guys were able to carry all around and it was never a problem. Well, in the 1930s, they started realizing, hey, you know, that's when the civil rights started kicking off. And they started saying, hey, you white guys can't carry either. <laughs> right, right. And so it wasn't until 1995 that we finally got it fixed to where we could carry concealed handguns. So it took us a long time. But the rifle... Um, the rifles have just never been regulated, mainly oh. because the, the early rationale was, you know, it was hunting. Mm -hmm. And and still, these okay. are just, we call them modern sporting rifles anyway, but mm -hmm. uh, so, it, you know, you don't want to regulate hunting. So th those laws were created before urbanization, major urbanization. Yeah, so, so they're completely outdated. They're, they're just unregulated. Yeah, they're, and, they, and, and they just seem to be outdated right now. I don't think they're outdated. I, I think what's outdated is the way we carry our handguns. Okay. That, that's what's yeah, outdated. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I'll, I'll tell my boss. What was your name again? Uh, Salvador. Salvador. Okay. Salvador. Salvador. Nice to meet you. Okay. You too, sir. Much gusto. All right. Nice it was good to talk to you. Hopefully, you hopefully too, okay? we'll see see each other again. Yeah, take care. <laughs> good to see you. I'm gonna get my rifle. Did, yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys said you were going inside to do an yeah. interview with yeah, the chief. Yeah, we're doing chief. something with something. We're doing a you know, completely different. Yeah, we're about to get. Oh, okay, because I was gonna say you could ask him. Hey, what do you think about the open carriers yeah, no, outside? No, no, we'll Maybe well, just we'll as a little to. thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't see. All right. Well, I, Great, thank you. All right. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, I don't yeah. see where. Enjoy your time in Texas. Oh, we are. Hey, if if you're traveling around the cities, you might see this more often than you think. We're all the the open carry groups are real active. We're just waiting on them. Once they get here. How you doing? Cool. Yeah, that guy was all excited, man. He, he's going to want to do a news story for sure. trying to get the open carry thing I pulled it out so I shot a lot. Express News in San Antonio. Oh, I'm from San Antonio. Yeah, right. Well, around San Antonio. I live right outside in the county. Cool. And I got the right guys. Yeah. I want to get y'all's names if I can. All right, cool. Yeah. I'll start on the left over here. Right? Uh, um,
That's it. Thank you all for coming out. Hopefully uh, Chief Acevedo has heard what we had to say and he will heed what we had to say, but I doubt it as a member of Bloomberg's Every Town for Gun Safety <laughs> that he even cares what we have to say. But at least he knows that he can't stop it. That's right. Okay. Yes, oh, and all right. Before we get started, um, now, as you know, it's legal to carry loaded, unloaded, chambered, unchambered, however you want to do it. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to ask you while we're walking, do not touch your firearm. So put it in a place that's, that's comfortable. Obviously, if you want to rest it on your uh, buttstock, that's, that's fine. Do not handle your firearms while we're doing this walk. What we're going to ask everybody to do right now is turn to the person to your left and right. Check that person to make sure that either one, they've got a chamber flag, like my, like my wife does something that shows the barrel is clear, or that they have that firearm on safety. Make sure that all firearms are on safety. Safe. I am loaded and I'm safe. safe again uh, don't handle your firearms keep your hands away from the trigger areas and always watch each other okay because if something happens you might not realize that you're pointing a weapon at somebody so just calmly tap them on the shoulder and let them know hey you know your, your rifle's pointing in unsafe direction uh, everyone here is a safety officer the last thing that this movement needs is a negligent discharge there's no such thing as an accidental discharge it's a negligent discharge so I, I guarantee you, the moment that that happens, uh, our credibility goes out the window. Because we are a group dedicated to safe and legal carry of firearms. So let's be safe. We're going to walk up to about Congress, no more than about a half mile, a mile total coming back. But some people are parked up the hill, so they might not have to walk as far back. Um, if you want some flyers to hand out to people that may ask, I got some, oh, I got some flyers in this bag. Or you can just get them for yourself. I've also got some in Spanish. The red ones are Spanish. And we'll just get started. Open carry touches. Pictures. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Open Carry Texas before? I'm, I'm aware of Open Carry Texas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where are you guys parking? Uh, we're going up to Congress. We just had a little rally down at the police station okay. for the stuff that uh, the chief here was saying Okay. about us during are the you, testimonies. Are carrying, uh, is there ammunition in those? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, gun's useless if it's not loaded, right? I guess. I guess. It's just, uh, what if it gets into the hands of someone who's not uh, prepared? Well, I got all of my friends here to back me Ooh. up. So. Okay. All right. <laughs> And hopefully I'd be able to stop before they did that, but hey, I'm going to keep up with the group. It was nice talking to you. Yeah. And I tried to tell I tried to tell them. They don't want I think that they were saying to CJ that they were going to just kind of shadow us a little bit. Oh, okay. So oh. They were, they, were you there when they came out at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah, they seem like pretty cool. 
Oh, yeah, I, I mean, I work with a lot of people. <laughs> Hell yes. Right on. Thanks for the support. Right on. Oh, yeah. Giving out drinks? Yeah. I'll take one. In the back. Cool. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Now I won't fall asleep on my drive back to San Antonio. <laughs> Anyone? Someone? Everyone? Make sure that M is facing me on the camera so we can't use the photo. And only one per person. Uh oh, don't fall. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. All right, awesome. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks. I was hoping that was your gun. <laughs> Here, you want some information on our group? If you guys want to look us up, we got a website. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Sweet. Put a gun rack on that. Jake made varsity. Wow, They've been doing spring football. They've been doing spring football for a month. Coaches pulled him aside today. Nope. Hey, we should have someone to get a picture for us. So he made varsity. What's that? I can't help you off. Here. Come on in here, dude. Can't see everything. Here, I <laughs> yeah, I won't sleep again. Oh well. Yeah, he, he was the guy we saw before. Hello. Hello. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, this one very good. Thank you. This one's the same company as that other one, but the other one. <laughs> right? Yeah. I don't care. I'm driving, so I always sit up front. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? Good walk. An hour and 59 minutes.